Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're staying safe and been active. Uh, if you've watched some of my recent videos, you know I've talked about the rainy season being in full swing here in the Pacific Northwest. Well, today we got a sunny day all the way from the coast to Central Oregon and beyond. So I decided to come over the Cascades and visit Central Oregon. Yep, I'm here at Smith Rock State Park, and this is a video I've been promising for some time, I know, but life's been busy, the weather hasn't cooperated until today. So here I am, and I think you'll find this place amazing, especially if you love trail running, hiking, and even rock climbing. Now, rock climbing is extremely popular here. So hopefully uh, we'll run into some rock climbers and, and we can see them in action. So let's go check this place out. Couple trail runners down there. Mm. All right, so here's the plan we're going to drop down and we're going to go down along that trail along the Crooked River and Follow the Crooked River up until uh, we get around the bend there. And then we're going to go up the trail that's called uh, Misery Trail, I think. And we're going to come right between that, I guess you'd call it, is that a hoodoo? And between the rock face over there along that trail. And go up, and then we're going to go up and over those rocks there. Go across the top and drop down the other side and come all the way back around and back up to this point here. Sound like fun? Yeah. Let's see if we can get close to these ducks. Ah, uh, they've already seen me. They're pretty cool to watch. They they dive down in the water and eat whatever it is they eat. When we first moved across the U.S. and moved to Oregon. We had never been to uh, Wyoming, or Dakotas, or uh, Pacific Northwest, and I just remember that when we come across Wyoming, uh, we came through southern Wyoming, we just had these expectations that, you know, of what Wyoming would look like, and it didn't look anything like we thought it was going to. You know, we just had this idea that it was going to look like, kind of like the terrain here. Kind of like, you know, just all of this. And, and it didn't. I mean, I'm sure there's some places that are just, you know, like around the Grand Tetons or places like that are just wonderful. And then, um, you know, I've been to a couple places in Wyoming that um, are beautiful, but you know, it's overall the whole state. We just thought it was going to be like it is here in Oregon. And I remember when we crossed the border into Oregon, and you know, well, kind of got into Oregon a little bit. And all these rolling hills and uh, pine, 
you know, ponderosa pine and juniper. Me and my wife said, wow, this is what we thought Wyoming was going to look like. So it kind of, I don't know, it just kind of gave us a love at first sight when we came into Oregon. And the more we explored Oregon, the better the state got. So I absolutely love it here. Uh, here's some more ducks. I like to see one of them dive. Oh, there's one with its butt in here. <laughs> yeah, they're laughing at me. Now oh, this Crooked River is beautiful. This whole area here is just beautiful. And it's one of the one of the. Um, Seven Wonders of Oregon. I think that's what's called Seven Wonders of Oregon. Smith Rock is uh, one of those, and I can see why. You'll see here in a little bit. I'm going to save the the best of Smith Rock to last. Okay, so the way I'm going to go is it's going to be beautiful, but I think the best part is going to be towards the end. So you can skip ahead, but I recommend you just watch all of it. All right, let's get up to the top of the top up there to the rock face and I think there's some pretty good views from up there ah, I just missed it that duck just came flying in and just like hit the water and just scooted in the water I wish I could have caught that uh, anyway when we get up to the top there I'm hoping that we'll be able to see over to uh, the Cascades and see all the snow-capped peaks um, like uh, Mount Hood, Mount Jefferson, Three Sisters, and uh, Mount Bachelor, and some others. So it'd be nice to be able to show that to you. Let's get up there. Oh, there's a rock climber getting started right there. I wonder if he'll go all the way to the top. Probably not. I don't think there's any Alex Honolds out here. Oh, check that out. Please don't fly away. All right, I won't back up. Try to leave it alone. Let it do its thing. Ah, so beautiful here. All right. I actually managed to get kind of close and uh, and sneak away without disturbing that bird. Um, I have no idea what kind of bird that is. I guess it's a stork. I don't know. Beats me. Anyway, I like it. All right, let's get across this bridge. If you don't want to come the way that we came, which was from back over there, um, you can park like right up here. So yeah, right up there. And there's a trail that brings you straight down to here. It's kind of you know a quick, quick short or shortcut straight down here to the bridge. So we're going to cross this bridge and head up Misery Trail. I thought we were going to go through there, but I guess we don't. We actually on this side of it and we'll go around and then go up. So let's head across this bridge.
It's bouncy. Dang, it's really bouncy. Misery Trail. Looking for some misery. It's a good name. It's a good name for this trail. Because it's straight up. I don't know what the vertical is here. But I would say that it's 300 feet probably. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I'll try to remember to put it in the comments. So if anybody cares, they can check it out. Oh, I couldn't do rock climbing. I'm like scared to death of heights. I can fly, they don't bother me, but these guys and these rock climbers, these, these rock climbers are just, I don't know, they're amazing to me. I can't do it. I have no desire. Keep my feet right on terra firma. That's so cool. Y'all care if I record? <laughs> it will be on YouTube. can't do that so the people that do this are they scared of heights or they just have no fear uh, we're all afraid of heights really we just get accustomed to it it's like a healthy fear I like watching um, I don't even know his name Alex um, Alex Handhold <laughs> yeah. yeah I like watching him but I couldn't do it. Logan was talking to him the other day. How do you get started in something like this? Like a uh, climbing gym is the best place. To oh do yeah. It. Yeah, like uh, just it? go to a bouldering gym and see if you enjoy doing the movements. If you like that, bouldering is like in a gym is usually less than 15 feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. So if you, if you do that and you like it, then you go from there. Um, I'd like to try it. I don't think I could do it. I think I'd probably get like 10 feet. I used to be a deer hunter and just getting in a tree stand was sc <laughs> scary to me. <laughs> I've seen some deer stands a lot sketchier than these birds. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you all be. Thanks for chatting. That's so cool. It was about 36, 37 degrees when I started. I'm not even a mile in, I'm already burning up.
I have got a lot of work to do for Bryce Canyon 100. I definitely got to work on my cardio and, and my climbing. I got to start getting some serious vertical. I had considered doing Coca Donna 250, but um, I am not too sure that's going to happen. There's that parking lot I was talking about. I just come down that trail. We parked um, over there somewhere. Came down. I think I'm going to have to strip down in a little bit get rid of some of these layers oh the sky is just so blue and beautiful today living on the west side of the cascades during the winter time we don't see very much blue sky so it is definitely a blessing to be in the warm sun. And right there's the trail we came down. Went around that way to the bridge. There's more trails out that way. There's a road cut up there. You can go miles and miles out here. There's a, there's a 50k out here called the um, Smith Rock Ascent. Don't know when it is. But I'll put that in the comments. If I remember. Oh, another rock climber. Oh, yeah. Cool. That is so bad. Oh, goodness, I'd, be, I'd be so scared. Like, I was in the army. We had to climb up these poles. They were probably only 20 feet in the air. It scared the daylights out of me. I didn't like that at all. That's so cool. I think this loop is, I think it's about four and a half miles, four miles, something like that. So it's a very, very small portion of Smith Rock State Park. Um, you can, you can just run endless trails out here. Like I said, there's a 50k out here. Um, it's a wonderful place, but the four miles I'm taking on is definitely the best four miles. Switch back after switch back. This is definitely misery. But I like it. Hard to believe. A year ago, I was able to run this, but not today.
almost to the top right there this is nothing like climbing up um, flight iron in uh, Apache Junction, Arizona that is a tough tough trail I made a video on it years ago but it hasn't gone I made a video on it years ago but that was not a very good video I was using a gimbal and it kept getting you know locked in a position and camera was always focusing on my feet and stuff but anyway you can go and check it out I'll try to remember to put a link below and here we are at the top so obviously there's a couple of peaks here that are much higher than we are right now let's go around here and see if we can see any snow-capped mountains so I got right now I painted it up as 683 feet of vertical um, I don't know how accurate that is I'd like to think it's pretty accurate but it just didn't seem like we climbed that much uh, didn't get any vertical anywhere else so it must have been right there anyway yeah we can see some mountains here cool let me go over this way see if we can get up here Mount Jefferson I um, don't know what that is that's Washington Mount I think it's Mount Washington right there oh, let me scoot over a little bit so right right there is Black Butte it's not that tall I think it's 5,000 ish feet but so let me start over right there is Mount Jefferson we can't see Mount Hood which would be on up a little bit north and then Mount Washington uh, Black Butte and then oh I'm sorry Broken Top Black Butte Mount Washington and then I don't know if that's got a name and then these three right here are the sisters uh, the you got North Sister Middle Sister and South Sister um, I think those are around 10 11 thousand feet at their peaks and then um, and then on down there is Mount Bachelor Mount Bachelor has a incredible ski resort and uh, awesome uh, mountain biking like path that goes from the top of the mountain all the way down it's uh, really cool so anyway let's get on around this way on that trail and see if we can see Mount Hood <sighs> So I said I'd consider doing Cocodona earlier and I, I don't think I finished up what I wanted to say about that. Uh, I, I really want to do it. Um, there's some other people that are doing it that I know that'd be really cool to share the experience with, but just logistically is going to be a real issue for me and my family. Um, you know, it's multi-day multi-day race and it's gonna take take me like four or five days to do it and I just don't you know dealing with the heat there I'm not used to that and um, it's 250 miles point to point so it's like where does my wife stay because she would have to crew me um just one thing after another so 
I think I'm going to have to pass on it this year. Potentially consider it 2023. Um, you know, the live streaming that they do of all the runners, that's just, that's epic. And I think that that would be really awesome to be a part of. Yeah. There's a uh, couple other 200s that I'm thinking about. Oh, I wouldn't say I think about it. I'm on the wait list for Bigfoot 200. I'm on the wait list for Tahoe 200. And then uh, Oregon has a 200 mile race coming up in, in September. So that's pretty much in my backyard. It's actually, um, I think the starting point is, is somewhere over in there. But uh, that's just a couple hours from my house. So that'd like, make a whole lot more sense for me to do. Um, this is called uh, Monkey Face. I don't know if you can kind of see that it looks like a monkey, but as you can see, there's actually two monkeys on Monkey Face. Um, how they got up there, I have no idea. Um, just looking at that is insane. <laughs> Not for me. Not for me at all. I don't like doing anything that might take my life if I make a mistake. Um, I mean, yeah, you can die driving. You can, I guess you could die in your bathroom and pale on yourself on your toothbrush. But you know what I mean? I'm just saying I don't, I don't want to do things like that are, you know, like jumping out of an airplane. I just can't see me doing that either. Anyway, um, I'll just stick with what I do. Uh, yeah, I'll just stick with uh, feet on the ground. I guess you could consider that feet on the ground, but wow, wish I had a zoom lens. Oh, yes, I can't watch. I don't even like watching that. It's just scary. I, I don't want to get something on film. Like, you know, disaster. I'm not into disaster recordings. Yeah, so right there is uh, Jefferson. And then I hope you can see that in the camera, get my finger out of the way. But that snow cat peak out there is Mount Hood. And there's the Crooked River again. Oh man, that's just goodness gracious. Oh, there's somebody down there. I gotta talk to this guy. You going up there? <laughs> You're all amazing. Amazing. Okay, he's peeing. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Probably best I don't hang around anyway. I might see something I don't want to see. I don't mean him peeing. I mean something going wrong. I just do not want to witness that. How about some of these houses out here? Some, it's beautiful. Beautiful homes. Let's 
say that they have the view of Smith Rock and then perhaps a view of the, the mountains. And all these peaks I named, they all um, have glaciers on them and they keep snow on them year round. Obviously not as much as right now, but, and actually they don't, they'll, they're gonna get a whole lot more snow on them than they have right now. Probably about by all, probably February, March. The, the whole range, that whole mountain range will be just covered in snow all the way across. Because that mountain range, the actual range uh, in between the peaks is, I guess you call it the valleys, is um, probably around 6,000 feet or so, 5,000, 6,000 feet. Oh my goodness. Just looking up at that scares the crap out of me. There's a reason why they have this uh, this out here. <laughs> I guess they've had enough people fall and get hurt. So I mean that, that comes with a sport, I guess. You know, there's a level of risk in everything we do. And I prefer to try to keep my level pretty low. Um, but I guess you know, running ultra distances, you start you know approaching 100k, 100 milers, and I guess you could. You could say that's pretty dangerous. Uh, I guess to your heart and other, you know, kidneys shut down or something crazy like that. But, but see, I think some of that stuff is preventable. Um, it's all about your effort. You know, cause, I mean, you could probably anybody could probably nearly walk 100 miles. You know, it's in a decent shape. Uh, um, get a rock to put on here. We're we gonna put it right there. But yeah, the, you know your effort level you know, is is key to that. You know, the, hard, the harder and faster you go, the more likely you are to hurt something, pull something, or cardiovascular issues, renal issues. And there's another climber, just everywhere. Talk about get your adrenaline going. That's monkey face. Uh, we came around the other side, that's the north side of that. And that's where those, uh, those monkeys were. Now those are, I call them monkeys. I don't, I don't mean that derogatory. Just, you know, I kind of mean it in a way that, like Superman way. <laughs> like squirrels, I don't know. I'll probably edit this part out. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. Something I just thought about, something I didn't think through when I decided to go the way I did, was that coming back around this side, 
that's my favorite part I think the sun's gonna be right in my face also right in your face so let's hope that when we get around there it's actually not the case these ducks are so beautiful they got the life on they just just floating down the river Tall cliffs. <laughs> I thought that was a snake. Oh my goodness. It's way too cold for snakes to be out. Still a little paranoid <laughs> living in uh, Apache Junction for a short period of time when everything was a snake everything was a rattlesnake um i ran into so many rattlesnakes there was one time that i was running along a pretty good clip and uh, i ran right up on this big old rattlesnake and i jumped and when i came down i came down almost right down on top of that thing you know and it, it, re it reared back and just i jumped again i couldn't get away from it praise god i didn't get bit there's been so many times i was out running i should have been bitten but i wasn't this is definitely my favorite section you're running right through the uh, junipers and and the ponderosa pine the junipers some say that they smell like cat pee and i used to think that when when we first moved to oregon uh we we were here in redmond area and there's a lot of juniper here and the whole place just smelled like cat pee to us and, but now you know after living here for several years the the smell is more like christmas time I wish there was a climber up here somewhere where we put the the size of these rocks into perspective. I don't even know if you call these rocks. <laughs> and they are rocks, but they're ginormous rock formations. I have no idea what causes it to be that bluish teal color be an interesting fun fact to find. I give you a different perspective of how we came back or came this way first. There's still more.
Oh, there we go. There's a car right there. Coming down. Sounds gonna be in our eyes. Climbers everywhere. I didn't expect that many today. There's a climber there, climber there, climbers all over there. My oh, goodness, climbers out there, <laughs> geese everywhere. Right over my head. Oh, I better not look up. Okay, no I'm good. This place is amazing, isn't it? I wish I lived here. But, cool thing is it's only two hours away from my house. Two hours and 20 minutes. Right up here is the, the bridge we came across earlier. So many brave people out today. Geese are going crazy.
more and more. Wow. It's like <laughs> the more I look, the more I see on the on the rocks. And just everywhere. Wow. There's several more people over there climbing. Wow. All right, let's get back across the bridge. Oh. I could watch those climbers all day long. <laughs> and at the end of the day, I'd still say, wow, it's amazing. Crazy and amazing. I guess a lot of things that trail runners do, they probably think it's crazy too. Well, that was Smith Rock in 4.3 miles and about 800 feet of vertical. I was pretty stoked to see all the climbers out here today. So I'm glad I was able to capture some of that. Um, I couldn't do it though. Anyway, I hope you got a good taste of what it's like out here and decide to come and visit if you haven't already been out here. If you've been out here, come out again. Anyway, I'm gonna head up to the truck and shed some of these layers and drop off this camera gear. And I think I'll go out for a couple more loops. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, don't give me a thumbs down. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Well, that's Smith Rock. I hope you enjoyed this. Well, there's Smith Rock steak. Smith, yes. don't forget to subscribe. Dang it. I'll get this right one of these days. Mm -hmm.